Hey guys, today in Art Club of Miss Burford, we'll be creating a watercolour citrus picture. You'll need an A4 sheet of watercolour paper, a sponge, some watercolours in the colours of your citrus fruit plus its contrasting colour and I forgot to photograph the green one for the leaves, a pot of water, some uh, paint brushes, a pencil, some masking fluid and a pot for your masking fluid to go into. The first thing you'll need to do on a scrap piece of paper is to have a go at teaching the children how to draw different citrus fruits, so like limes, lemons, oranges and different things like that. And just get them to have a look at the texture of the skin of the fruit and also have a look when they're cut open, have a look at the different segments. So if you do have fruit that you can bring in or fruit in the staff room or anything, that you could use to just show the children a real life piece that they can draw from. Have a go at drawing that on the board and getting them to have a go on their scrap pieces of paper. Because on the main picture, really, you want them to just use the masking fluid if possible. If the children do struggle using the masking fluid directly onto the paper, then of course you can get them to draw very lightly the shapes of the citrus fruits and then at the end we can just rub them out. Now we can start on our main picture. So you want to give each pair of children a pot of masking fluid and a fine paintbrush each. And this is what they're going to use to draw their shapes all over their A4 paper. So you want to get them to draw them larger and smaller, a variety of different sizes and different parts of the citrus fruit. So I do apologise, painting an off-white onto a white piece of paper is quite hard to show but you saw the shapes that I did earlier so you want them to do the whole fruit, some different segments, you could get them to draw the leaves of the fruit and this is a good time to also talk about different compositions so you can have them at different angles all over the paper and that you don't want things too close so that they're fairly evenly spread out so it makes a nice pattern on the page. But this is the most time consuming part of the project and you'll see as you paint on your design, as it dries it does start to go a bit more yellowy. I did have to go over mine a little bit and just make the lines a bit thicker because they're a bit too thin for my liking. But as it dries it'll go a bit more yellow and this will probably take you about an hour to fill the page. What you need to remember is any part of the masking fluid that you've done on the paper is going to come out white because this will peel away at the end and leave just the, um, the background colour. Which of course in this case will come out white. Um, but don't forget to add all your little details on your fruit sections. So any dimples on your um, like oranges or your lemons, whatever add little dots and they'll come out white at the end and also think about where your highlights might be on your shape so again you can make those sides a bit thicker with the white or do more dimples and that will create a contrast to your other side of your fruit which I'll talk about creating shadows with it in just a bit. You'll need to leave this to dry for a good hour and you'll see that it's gone a bit more yellowy and it dries glossy. So now on to my favourite step. For our background, you're going to use the contrasting colour to your fruit. So if you're doing oranges, your contrasting colour will be blue. If you're doing lemons, it'll be more of a purple. Um, and limes it'll be a bit more of like a reddy maroony kind of colour but try and do a darker background colour um, rather than a paler one so then your fruit really stands out so either a dark background sorry or a bright background and then your fruit will really pop against it 
So just go around your fruit shapes up to that um, fluid mass line that you've done and that will create a barrier which will make sure that the watercolour background will keep away from the watercolour um, colour that you're going to use for your fruit. If you're going to do this project as a few different lessons, which I imagine you probably will, um, for the first part you could do the drawing and practicing with the mask in fluid and then doing your, your outlines for that and that will probably take an hour to an hour and a half to do that session and then in your next session, uh, I can't talk, <laughs> your next session you can then do your background like I'm doing on here which will take approximately half an hour to 45 minutes and then you can do your last section of doing the fruits which again will take another half an hour to 45 minutes depending on how long your art sessions are. You'll see that for the background I watered everything down quite a bit and you can see where some areas are thicker but that's part of the effect. So you're going to do the same with your fruit areas. So where your paint is a bit thinner that can be the lighter side. So if you start, um, say you've got a whole orange, if you start on the bottom side with your darker watercolour and use the water to drag it out that will make it lighter as it gets to the top of the fruit. So you'll be able to create a lighter and darker part creating your highlights and shadows. Fill in all of your fruit areas and then leave this to dry for about an hour. Now for my favourite bit, you can either use a sponge or your fingers to start rolling off the masking fluid and it will come off in very satisfying sections. I did start with a sponge but I actually found using the fingers a lot easier and it's just so satisfying to peel it back but as you peel off the masking fluid you'll see that it leaves a clean crisp white area where no paint has touched it. And there you have it, what I'd call a Mediterranean inspired watercolour picture. If you enjoyed this lesson give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art club lessons every week and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more art club with Miss Burford.